What's up guys, I gotta show you today how to install Dolphin on iOS 16 and 17. GIT on iOS 17 has been made pretty difficult because Apple changed a lot of stuff there. But now it is possible to enable GIT on iOS 17 again. As you can see it is running on my iPhone 14. So let's get started. Before I gotta start uh, showing how to install Dolphin iOS on your iPhone or iPad, I gotta say uh, the minimum requ uh, requirements for Dolphin to run. The minimum requirements are an iPad Pro 1st Gen, iPad 5, iPad Mini 5 or an iPad Air 3rd Generation, which have an A9 or better. So yeah, iPad, iPad Pro 1st Gen, I have the device, it runs at like 25 to 30 fps with a 30 fps code enabled. An iPad 5 is a little bit weaker than the iPad Pro 1st Gen, so I don't think it will run good, so I don't recommend running it on an iPad 5. A uh, personal recommendation for uh, having it run at least on 30 fps, but almost no stutter frames, sometimes 60 is even possible with that, is an iPad Pro 2nd generation, so an iPad from 2017 iPad 6, which I also have and it runs almost perfectly, an iPad mini 5 or an iPad Air 3. Perfect would be an iPad Pro uh, 2018, iPad 8, iPad mini 5 or iPad Air 3. For the iPhones you need for a minimum an iPhone 7, recommended is an iPhone 8, for perfect I'd say iPhone XS at least. I have an iPhone 11 here and I can run it on like 720p without almost any set of frames. Also something you're gonna need is obviously a USB cable to connect your iPhone to your PC and an account with administrator rights. You need admin rights for installation and uh, GIT enabling on iOS 17. So let's get started. First you gotta install Alt Store. Just go into the Alt Store page, I'm gonna link it in the description. Click on Get Alt Store and download it for Windows. You can get it uh, if you are in a European village. It costs 150 a year, so not really worth it in my eyes, unless you don't want to rework. Yes, you have to install, reinstall or refresh it every up to seven days in order to not let it expire. If you wait more than seven days, Dolphin and Alt Store will not work anymore on your iPhone and you have to reinstall it. Your data will not be lost though. Just download it here and run the setup.exe that is in it. Or setup.msi, I don't know. I have it already installed. So let's get started. Just if it isn't in your progress bar, then you just gotta type in Alt Server, which is here, and it will appear here. Just click install alt store and to the iPhone which should be unlocked at the best. And now you gotta uh, type in your Apple ID and your password. I'm gonna uh, hide it for obvious reasons. It will not get sent to anyone besides Apple which will sign your, uh, your alt store. We'll get a pop up here once it starts installing. There we go. And Alt Store is now getting installed to your iPhone or iPad. It is installed now, so I gotta switch the iPhone now. On your iDevice you will see the Alt Store now, but you cannot open it as you didn't trust the developer of this account, which should be your email address. To fix this, you go into the settings, general, VPN and device management, and trust this account. Also, you gotta uh, have to go to privacy and security and enable developer mode, which will require a reboot. On your iPhone, once it's booted up, you will see this message. Tap on turn on and enter your passcode. Now you can open the old store. Allow anything that it wants, so it will be able to refresh. If you have to refresh it, just click on refresh all. It will show when it expires, which is obviously seven days because we just installed it. So the first thing you gotta do is sign in with your Apple ID. So I logged in now. Now you gotta go into the Safari and download the beta version of Dolphin iOS. I prefer downloading the IPA file. Going into the old store, 
just go into plus and install the non-jailbroken.ipa. I have it multiple times now as I installed it multiple times to the iPhone. It will take a little while. It should usually not take more than like 30 seconds or a minute. You can also use side store if you want to. So, starting Dolphin, I never say yes to a uh, note. I know that you can't see anything right now, but yeah, there are no games. Where do you get the games and where do you install them? Well, obviously I cannot get any games for you for obvious reasons, <laughs> but I'm gonna show how to get them on. I usually use OneDrive to copy the files from my PC to my iPhone. You can also use Google Drive or anything else or even iTunes, iTunes allows that too. Instead of downloading a Market Wii game, i just going to show you how to install Insane Card Wii onto your Dolphin. Just go into wiki.talkdom.com, link in the description, and type in Insane Card Wii. Download the Revolution version and the Isa patcher for this one. I have that already downloaded because it takes way too long. Open it with any zip extractor and copy this into any folder. Now you gotta get normal Insane Card Wii installation. You just need the IK Wii folder. Nothing else required for that. It shouldn't take too long. And you also gotta need a Market Wii game. You gotta copy it into the Tools folder. Once you've finished copying, just run the script. You will get this warning. Just ignore it and run it anyway. It is safe to use. Here are some more instructions. It instantly detected the WBFS file, which it extracts. It will take a little bit longer maybe for you due to the uh, speeds of your drive. This is on a hard drive, so it takes a little longer. On an M.2, it will just run through it. It will be done in like two or three minutes on an M.2. Here it will ask for the theme. This is just for the aesthetics and if you just like the original, keep it on default. But there are some uh, other themes that you might like or not. Uh, if you want to change it, you have to repatch the game. You don't need to patch the game for every game mode. One file is enough for any game mode except for vanilla game mode. This has not been done yet. I'm gonna use the Super Mario RC theme because I like it. Actually, no, double dash. Then it will just copy the file, which should take a little bit. It shouldn't take too long, as you can see, it takes like a minute. And at the end, you're getting prompted to add those codes to your uh, action replay codes, which you don't have to do. I will link the needed files for that in the descriptions. I will do that before uh, you have before you are gonna waste your time doing that. I will show you now where you have to copy the, copy the files to. In the files app, you just gotta go onto on my iPhone or on my iPad. Go to Dolphin iOS and in game settings, you will have to paste the IMI file into this folder. The game will have to get copied to the software folder. And for the NAND, you have to zip your Wii folder that should be in, it should be on C, users, your username, app data, roaming, dolphin emulator, and then the Wii folder. You have to zip it, extract it, and copy the entire Wii folder in here. Then you will be also able to play on WiiFi. In dolphin, you have to go to settings, config, general, and enable the cheats. I can show it in dolphin because then it will just show dolphin is waiting for an external emula emulation to start. So I had to screenshot it. Then long press mark at Wii, pop this menu, go to properties, action replay, and all of those that I uh, marked in the square are game modes. Please enable only one of them if you want to play online. You can combine some of them, but that will lead to instability. The ones I didn't mark are the ones that you can combine and enable or disable if you wish to. But if you want to start the game, you will get this message. To fix this, in iOS 16, you have to go here, Alt Server, Enable GAT, and then Dolphin iOS. But if you are on iOS 17, you need to download some stuff again, which is this. First of all, Python. You gotta have to download Python and add it to your path which I will show how to do now. Here, there would be a uh, mark, a check mark that will uh, say add Python to path. 
you have to check it. Since I have Python already installed, I will not do this again. After you've installed Python, you will have to restart your PC. The second thing you're going to need is this. This is the one that this is the program that enables iOS 17 GIT. Just go to the GitHub link in the in the description and download the code. Then you go to your hard drive and extract everything into here. Then I recommend using the install slow.bat because that's way more compatible. It will ask for administrator rights. It will take a little bit of time, like two minutes until it's installed. Here's the progress bar on extracting. This obviously depends on the speeds of your uh, CPU. If you have a bad CPU, obviously this is gonna take a little bit longer. This is normal and it will ask you to reboot your PC. Do this. I will not do this because I have everything installed already. So just gonna opt out of it. The next thing you gotta do is retrieve the build ID. Go into your old store and view app IDs. Take a screenshot of this, shrink it down to this, and then copy it in, uh, go into your photos app and copy it, uh, copy the text. You can just hold on it and it will just mark the text and then send it somewhere that you can access it from, access it from the PC. I'm in the way waiting for GIT screen now and on the PC. Your phone has to be connected to your PC with a USB cable. Double click this batch file. It will ask for administrator rights, which is normal. And type in python3 git enabler better.py and paste your build ID and enter. I hope I will get the error that uh, my device is not connected, which sometimes happens for some reason, or this happens sometimes. Sometimes it will just freeze. My trick is disconnect it, uh, turn the uh, USB cable around, plug it in, close the command, uh, close the, close the stuff. Sometimes you have to reboot your phone in order to make this work. Yep, now we get this, disconnect it again, Put it in again. It may ask you if you want to trust this computer. Wait for this message on the bottom right and paste the command in again. There we go. And I just noticed the screen share interrupted. Starting up and done. You can disconnect your iPhone now and play in Sankat Wii or any other game on your uh, on your iPhone. It works. You will have to re-enable this, so you have to do this command every time Dolphin completely closes. If you do this, just close out, that's fine. But if you do this, then it will say wait for, waiting for GIT again. So yeah, if it doesn't work for you, let me know in the comments. I will uh, I will be glad if, you can, if I can help you out there. If it helped for you, I would be happy if you could like and subscribe and see you guys in the next tutorial.